Welcome to Wildflower. My name is Romina Rasmussen and I'm the pastry chef at Le Madeleine in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we're going to be making a tamarind syrup. Now, in case you don't know what a tamarind is, it's this kind of long, sort of, it looks like a bean, kind of. It's a, a fruit, it's from, it's grown a lot in Southeast Asia and places like Thailand and stuff. So if you break it open, you have this kind of pulpy flesh and it's sort of in this cage. It's, it's kind of interesting stuff and there are big seeds in the middle. So you can buy it in this form and actually that makes just a great snack on its own. Um, or you can buy this sort of version in a cake where you can um, dissolve this in about five cups of boiling water and then strain it out and you'd be left and then cook it for about 10 minutes and you'd be left with a concentrate or you can just go ahead and buy a concentrate. So however you would like to go about getting to your tamarind, those are a couple of different ways. So what I've done is I've taken about a cup of the concentrate and a half a cup of honey and I'm bringing it to a boil here on the stove. And it's almost completely, uh, I want it to boil all the way through the center, nice rolling boil. So it's kind of like making a simple syrup, but instead of using water, I'm using the tamarind concentrate. And the nice thing is this is kind of loaded with vitamin C and so if you're not feeling so well, throw a little bit of this syrup when you're done in your tea and you'll feel a lot better when it's over. So it's uh, almost ready. And because I'm using honey, I can stir it and it's not going to crystallize, which is unlike making simple syrup. And it's boiling all the way through. So it's a nice dark color and it smells delicious. It's kind of tart and it's, it's kind of, it's really its own flavor. There is no substitute for tamarind. So there you have it. That is how you make a tamarind syrup.